What you making, Dave? Ah, I'm making you a lovely homemade pizza today. Oh. Well, the dough is a recipe I got from the Food Network. It's Bobby Flay's. You can check it out in links in the description. It works pretty good for me. Um, I've been using it for a, uh, a long time now, and it is awesome. So we're just going to go through a quick uh, pizza making, and I guess here we go. This is the lovely dough that's been proofing for 48 hours. Just going to grab a little bit of flour. Throw it down on my lovely board here. I'm also going to take a little bit of cornmeal and throw that down too. So right now I'm just forming the dough. I've kneaded it three times over the last 48 hours. So it'll be interesting to see how it comes out. Alright, we're just about ready there. More for good measure, not too much. All right, I'm just gonna go with my fingers here. We might speed this up because it might take a little time, but I say to hell with rolling pins. You don't need them. stretching the dough at an even pace. We'll probably speed this up if we can figure out how to do it in the editor. Oh, that's coming out very nice. You could pick it up, spin it around for show. Be like, oh, look what I can do. But I'm going to keep it away from any appliance, stove. I would totally drop it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm very happy with how this dough came out. More. Believe it or not, we're almost there for the pizza. good right there all righty so I'm just gonna grab our lovely baking rack first things first we're going to throw a little bit of cornmeal on the baking rack One lovely personal pizza. My lovely girlfriend. And here we go. Add a little bit of sauce. Easy there, Dave. Simmer down. a bit. Alrighty, I think 
that's about as even as I'm going to get it today. So, I'm going to lay down some lovely mozzarella that I pre-shredded so I don't bore you with it during the video like so many other cooks do. I might add a little bit too many or too much mozzarella. Oh well. Oven's heating up to 425. Alright, I think that's as good as it's going to get for the cheese now. We're going to add my favorite pepperoni here. i got to give them a plug. Now, there's a huge debate on how you say this company's name. So, I'm not going to say it to enrage either way. So, um, I'm not saying that I side with people that say pilers. And I'm not saying that I side people that say pillars. So, I uh, just like, don't. No comment on or hateful messages, please, because like I know this is a huge subject with a, a lot poll. of people. Do you know what? Yeah, let's video. do a poll. Is it pilers or pillars? Let's see. Let's see what people say. So I'm just gonna put a heaping amount of pepperoni on our lovely personal pizza here. You know what, I think I might put a little music in the background of this one. Since the fan is going off. Yes, hopefully we we'll fix that audio glitch. You learn as you go. One more for good measure. Alright, so into the oven, that'll go at 425. We're going to bake it for about 14 minutes and we will show you what it comes out of the oven. So that's my lovely gourmet pizza that I made for my girlfriend. What? <laughs> oh my goodness, that is hot! That's a spicy. Woo. All right, let's cut into this bad boy and see how it is. Oh, ho, 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 are you kidding? Listen to that. Oh, crispy all the way through. All right. I'm just going to make a big cut here. There you go, hon. <laughs> 